Welcome to fishingpacks.com. Our website and YouTube channel discuss everything you need to know about fishing. From rods and reels to boats and motors, you will find the most informative fishing content to help you purchase with confidence. Are you wondering what all the different types of fishing rods are? Are you confused by terms such as surf and spin fishing? We are here to help. In this video, we discuss the eight different types of fishing rods and what they're used for. Let's dive into it. The first type we'll discuss is telescopic fishing rods. They collapse into smaller sizes, making them easier to store and transport when not in use. They're perfect for backpacking, camping, and hiking trips. You can typically pick up one of these rods from anywhere from $20 to $100. The only real downsides to these rods are that they are often a bit harder to cast due to the telescoping action. Some of those moving parts can wear down over time from friction as well. Next up, we have spinning rods. This type of blank is by far the most versatile and you can find a spinning rod for almost every situation. It's also easy for anglers to fix line tangles. You can pick one up for about $50 to $250. These pair with a spinning reel and due to the reel hanging below the rod, the line guide will be on the bottom. Not all of these are the same and the angler will need to choose based on the amount of flexibility and strength they want in the rod. The only possible downside is that there might be a learning curve when working the bail system. But once you get the hang of it, you'll love this type of fishing. Next on my list is fly fishing rods. These types of blanks are perfect for finesse fishing for trout, salmon, and steelhead. They're perfect for rivers and streams and a must have for fly fishing only waters. Fly rods are very light because the angler is supposed to hold and cast them all day long. The line on these will be weighted to make casting a little easier with light lures. The reel will be lower than the handle to balance out this type of fishing. There are many different lengths that the angler can choose based on the fishing conditions. You can get one of these rods for about $50 to $250. One downside is that these blanks are only really used for fly fishing and they have a short casting distance. Fly fishing is also a much harder skill to learn than regular fishing but we think it's worth it. Next up, we have ice fishing rods for all the winter anglers out there. These types of blanks are best for catching pike, pickerel, walleye, and panfish through a hole in the ice. They are excellent for fighting fish beneath the ice since they are so easy to handle. They are lightweight and sensitive, making it easier to tell when even a tiny nibble occurs on the end of the line. These are designed to handle the frigid temperatures that can occur when ice fishing. One disadvantage is that these rods are typically too short for most other use cases. You won't be able to cast an ice fishing rod in the same way you do other types. These rods typically range from $20 to $150. Next on my list, we have casting, also called bait casting rods. These types of rods are perfect for beginner anglers and kids as well as warm water fish species. They are the easiest rods to operate and rarely get tangled due to the enclosed reel system. They also feature great casting control to help newbies get used to fishing. One potential downside is that these rods pair with a bait casting reel, which can be difficult to open up for maintenance. I must point out that even though that's the case, they rarely need any serious maintenance. You can pick up a casting rod for around $20 to $150. The next type of blank we will discuss is deep sea fishing rods. These are best for saltwater and deep ocean fishing for tuna, shark, and other large species from a fishing boat. Deep sea rods excel at reeling in heavy fish that put up a fight. They're usually a lot stronger than other rods and made from top-notch materials. One drawback is that deep sea rods are very long and can be difficult to tote around and store. You should expect to pay a bit more for these blanks at around $75 to $250. Now we're going to discuss trolling rods. These types of blanks are ideal for pond or lake fishing for species like kingfish and snapper. You can use a trolling rod in both fresh and salt water. Ideally, these rods are used for pulling behind a boat. You attach a lure or chunk of bait and continue moving until you get a bite and can reel in the fish. One issue with trolling rods is that they are not very versatile. Most anglers use them solely for trolling. 
you can expect to pay around $50 to $150 for this rod type. Last but not least, we have surf fishing rods. These are best for fishing from a beach, shore, or other shallow water for striped bass, bluefish, and flounder. They are heavy, long, and offer excellent casting distance to get over incoming waves. This rod can easily handle large fighting fish. One disadvantage of these blanks is that they can be unwieldy for new anglers due to their size and weight. Expect to pay on the higher end for surf fishing rods at $50 to $250. There you have it, our guide to all the different types of fishing rods on the market. Remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out the information in the description box below. This includes a link to our most up-to-date article on fishingpacks.com, where we break down several other types of fishing gear.